Total deviation and pattern deviation are displayed in numeric value and in plots. To interpret the plot, we need to look at the scale that is located between two red boxes. When we have four dots and there is a p-value of less than 5%, it means this threshold value is seen in less than 5% of the people at this age. In other words, the chance for being abnormal is 95%. When we have a dark box, the p-value is less than 0.5%. It means this point threshold value is seen in less than 99.5% of the people at this age. The values in the total deviation are reported in negative or positive. When it's lower than the normal database, it will be reported in negative numbers. When it's higher than the normal database, it's reported in positive value. When it's higher than the normal database, there's only one possibility for that, and it's high false positive rate. The pattern deviation removes the generalized suppression from total deviation to highlight the local defects. It adds the dB difference between the seventh best retinal sensitivity point of the total deviation compared to the normal database to all points. This slide shows the way that the pattern deviation works. As you can see here, those points with lower threshold value will still remain below the hill of vision after adjustment and we will see those location as scotoma or locum defect. Generally, the pattern deviation looks uh, less darker than total deviation plot in glaucoma patient. But if we have a totally dark total deviation and a wide pattern deviation plot, it's mainly seen in patients with cataract, wrong refractive errors, meiotic pupil, an advanced glaucoma patient. This is an example of a patient with wrong refractive errors and generalized suppression, dark total, white pattern deviation plot. This is an example of a patient with advanced glaucoma with dark total deviation, white pattern deviation, and it's called pattern deviation reversal. If we have a white total deviation and a dark pattern deviation plot. It's only seen in those patients with high false positive. And if we have a patient with severely depressed visual field and advanced glaucoma, the machine will not be able to display the pattern deviation plot.